We've talked about continuity a lot, but how do we make sure our film has continuity? There are a couple of rules. The most important rule is the 180 degree rule. To understand the 180 degree rule, we must understand that in all actions, we create a line of access. If we're shooting a conversation, this line cuts through the middle of the two people speaking. Once we start shooting on one side of the line, we cannot cross the line. That's where we get the 180 degree part from. That's science. If we keep our tripod on this side of the line and we cut those shots together, they will look like the two characters are talking to each other. Josh will be looking to the right and Tyler will be looking to the left. Now, if we cross the line and we break the line of axis and we put the two shots together, one from one side of the axis and the other, we can tell that it's confusing because it looks like they're not talking to each other because they both have the same screen direction. The rule doesn't just apply to conversations between characters. The rule is also extremely important when cutting chase sequences together. We don't want it to seem as if our character is running right to left and then suddenly running left to right. Or do we? There are a few creative ways in which a director might want to break the 180 degree rule. In The Shining, Cooper breaks continuity on purpose in this scene to show the ties between Jack Torrance and Delbert Grady. It also creates a creepy feel. So in your next film, I want you to stay on one side of the axis. Or not. It's up to you. Just make sure there's a reason for all your choices.